Hi, my name is Maddie. I decided to do my vlog on my life. I decided to do a vlog on my life because I thought it was something that I could talk about for quite a while and just explain my life because I do live a pretty crazy life. So this picture is me and my horse, Willow. She is amazing. She is the first horse that I bought fully trained. I have trained all my other horses. She's about 15 years old. Um, I do have two other horses, but she is just the best horse I've ever had and I love her to death. And I was very happy I was in town to see her and spend time with her. This next picture is me and my dog, Muzzy. Muzzy is a German short hair pointer. He is my hunting dog. He is an amazing dog and I love him to death. He's about five months old now. Uh, here's another picture of him in a coat when we were floating the Smith River. He gets really cold because he's super small and doesn't have a lot of fat on his body. This is my dog, Oakley. Oakley is my pride and joy. I love Oakley to death. He has the best personality ever in a dog. He is the most loyal dog. We just get along really great. And he just really understands me. Oakley is a full German Shepherd. I got him when he was seven weeks old. And he's about three years old now. He's actually a little bit over. He had his birthday on May 10th and I was so happy. He's very big too. He's about 110 pounds, which most German Shepherds are around 70 to 80. So if you see him, I hadn't seen him in six months. And when I came home, I was like, oh my gosh, he looks like a Great Dane. Like he is a really, really big dog and takes up half the bed. He doesn't like to share. Um, he also loves to go to the park. Here is the next picture is him at the park with me. We are running around playing fetch. The next picture is him on my bed. Yes, I share my bed with him. So the next few pictures are views. A lot of these were from the Smith River float. I went and floated the Smith River. It was a great time. Um, so I live in Bozeman, Montana. This is right outside of Bozeman. And I thought I would share some of these pictures because I know a lot of people don't get to see things like this. And I'm so, so grateful that every single day I get to wake up and see these beautiful mountains and trees. And it, it just makes me so happy. And the air is so different when you're on the river. And we're able to fish a lot and you see a lot of wildlife. So it was a great trip and I'm just grateful I live in such a beautiful place. And the next picture is a moose that we saw when we were floating the Smith River. So we went on a six night river float just a few weeks ago. We had no service or anything. What you do is you like float to a campsite every single day. And you're able to fish and you're actually able to hunt as long as you have tags on public land. And so that was an amazing experience. We saw this moose. It was actually the first moose I have ever seen. So I was freaking out and I was so excited and I had to get as many pictures as possible. And it took me a second to even process that it was a moose because I had never seen one. And so, yeah, it was an amazing trip. It was great to just get out of service for a little bit and not have communication with the outside world. So the next picture is a place where I ice fish. I like to ice fish every once in a while. Depends on how cold it is. So this is my family. This is my younger sister, Emma. She graduates from Kamaikan this year. That is my dad. And then that is my mom. My parents have been together for 21 years. They are the light of my life. They are the best parents you could ever ask for. My parents live in Alaska. They moved there right after I graduated. My dad runs a logging company, so he is up there working extremely hard. He loves what he does, and we love to go up there and visit. My sister and I go up there about two to three times a year whenever is possible, but we have to make it a long trip since it's so far that it typically is about a two-week trip at least. So this is a picture of my sister and my brother and my mom. My sister I did not grow up with, but... We are still very close. She is an amazing person. She actually has two kids as well. She just got married in September, so I was very lucky to be able to be at her wedding. And then my brother, I grew up with him. He actually lives in Spokane. He's two years older than me, so he moved out a while ago. And honestly, now that he's moved out, we get a lot along a lot better than we did before. So yes, my sister also has two kids. They, I have a girl and a boy, so I am an aunt. And my niece is so funny. She is a sweetheart. She's six years old, and she reminds me of myself. This video is a video I thought I would share. This was in Alaska when I was deer hunting. This was right after I killed my deer, and all of these eagles were swarming us. It was very scary, but also very cool. This is another picture in Alaska. This was a few days after my hunt. It's crazy how the weather changes there. Um, it snowed about a foot this day, and so we were out driving looking for deer. This is another beautiful picture. This is actually in Pasco. 
The next picture is somewhere where I hunt in Montana. It's on a beautiful hillside. Then this is another picture of Montana. This is in Eastern Montana. I was antelope hunting at the time and we are hunting on public land and happened to catch this amazing sunrise. I love sunrises and sunsets. So I was really happy to be able to see such a beautiful thing like this. And this day we killed an antelope. So it was like, oh my gosh, we need to hurry so we don't miss the sunrise. So we got really beautiful pictures of us hunting or with our antelope right after this picture so it was it was a great experience the next picture is alaska this is in kodiak this was when i was traveling back home from seeing my parents the next picture is a black tail he is the deer that i killed this last december i did shoot him and he lost his other side which i was really sad about I wasn't able to go and find it because we were actually hunting right near a bear, bear den and we were on a hurry to get my deer back up, get him gutted out and get him home. But I was really grateful that I was able to get all that meat for my parents and we had a great time. It was just my dad and I hunting and he loves to do that stuff with me. The next picture are some flowers. These are flowers that my mom got me on my birthday last year. I love flowers. I definitely like roses and sunflowers the most, but... I love yellow, and so these flowers made me really happy. And it was very sweet. My mom, like I said, doesn't live here, so she had them delivered to me on my birthday last year, and just little things like that make my day. The next video is a video of Florida. I went to the Daytona 500 in February. It was an amazing experience. So I, would, I wanted to show you how beautiful the beach was. And I do a lot of traveling now, so I just wanted to show some of the beautiful places that I have been able to go. And I'm so grateful I live this life, even though it is a little crazy.